Hey guys, Vincent van Gogh make me a joint here. Well, obviously his name's pronounced Vincent van Gogh. Oh, you know, if you want to be correct, I know the, the Puritans are going to make sure I say it correctly. But we have part two of Bristol houses, or top houses that everyone wants in Bristol. Some really great pieces, and let's get straight into it. The first one, we'll start with the DJ Derek Memorial Mural, sprayed by the ASK crew. Now, if you don't know DJ Derek, he was a larger than life, he was a symbol of unity, he was a symbol of integration, and he was one hell of a DJ. His record connection spanned better than nearly anyone on the radios right now, and he could pull a crowd like no other. I'm not going to mention too much about his death, because it's so unfortunate, but it's all about the life and the man here. He stood for something bigger than most of us ever could. He's one hell of a legend, and I, I gotta give him the props he deserves. And unfortunately, this mural here doesn't exist anymore. It's got it. either they're selling the house or the new buyers, whatever, but unfortunately, it's gone now. And we have this house here, sprayed by Nightways. I've seen him doing a lot of spraying with the PWA crew, soap and face first at the minute, but this house is phenomenal. The artwork's so good, it's almost, again, like printed on. You could say it's promotional material for the films, like Marvel has just, just stepped out to Nightways and been like, excuse me, can you promote our films in the best possible way? And the guy was like, all right, let's do this. Because this is spectacular. I think the character works really good, the background on it, the colors, everything about it just pops. And again, this is at the M32 skate spot, or just around the corner, kind of near the Ikea building, if you don't know the skate spot that well. And you, when you'll see it, you'll see it from a mile off and you'll be like, ooh, what's this? And you just get closer and closer. Well, a lot with, uh, with most of these houses you do, but you just see this piece and these giant figures and it's like, okay, okay then, I can see what's going on. I like this, like. But yeah, I'm not too into the Marvel films or, or superhero films, but I'm into the artwork. Definitely, but I shall have done. Now this was being sprayed, I seen this kind of being born a little bit. I didn't see it start to finish. But when I started uh, getting to Sink Wilberg for the first time ever, this was just becoming uh, a thing. And I could see scaffolding around it. And I was like, bro, that's a silent hope. And it was at that point I started realizing, oh, I can spot certain artists by their styles now. I don't need to like look for a signature. Cause like after, some people have so much style, it just bleeds onto the pieces. And after a while you get kind of used to it and you can kind of just recognize it a bit easier. And bro, I'm so happy to be able to recognize a good old Silent Hobo. Again, Silent Hobo's work is so fascinating. All the, all the characters, I look at them and feel like they've got backstories and I want to know. Like, there needs to be a show or a, a film to explain these stories. And there's something about pizza as well. I think all aerosol artists, street artists, graffiti writers, if I could get 50 of them to do like a collage of pizza, like in their style, I'd love that. And then maybe even open a pizza restaurant and have that as the background. But I think that would be a good standard to use, like how do you draw pizza? Right, we're jumping over to St. Paul's there. Now this, I was, I was saying about integration earlier, it's about migration. This is a fantastic piece, again, in the right place. I want to say, just in case you don't know the difference, if you come from a Commonwealth country, you're migrating, you're not immigrating, so you're just kind of jumping around the, the empire as well. But right, we're going to jump across down now to Bemitzler, and this is West Street. I remember this piece for a while, and it was done by Third Eye, and it's a really cool piece. Like the character work, it just blows me away every time I see it. I think that again, it should be a cartoon or a show. I, like I could be seeing these tripped out little things, just running around, causing havoc. It'd be hella fun. Like I look at these and I think every one of them needs a name. Like I already want to be part of the universe and understand more of them. So you notice the for sale sign as well, and it says sold. I do wonder whether it will stay or, or whether it will have to go. It looks like two units, but again, I couldn't be sure how it works. And I suck with property. I'm not a landlord or anything like that. So I'm just my best guess is going to say maybe it stays. Well, I know that's just a guess, and I have nothing to back that up on. But hey, I hope it bloody does stay. Or if it goes, maybe they just do a different piece on top. Maybe they keep using it as a canvas and we just get new pieces. I think that's the, probably the best way if you want to get rid of a piece, to then replace it with another piece. I feel like going backwards in Bristol by like whitewashing or grey walling or red brick in a wall is not the way forward. I think, again, it's like, I don't know, like bombing culture, let's say. It's not the one. There's no war when 
pieces. Look how fantastic this piece is. You can't tell me a generation there. I think a lot of people are going to walk past this and like it. I can't see many people going. Ugh. Ugh. Right, now we're going to get back to sync well about. And we've got another piece by their ASK crew. This is why they're kind of the boys, or the, the kids, I should say. I don't want to gender specific, make it gender specific, but these are the kids out here, do you know what I mean? Like, just look at the work. You can, every piece of this is so technical. I don't think I could even do the, the, the sky background, let alone like, this robot machine speaker monstrosity thing. I mean, look at this, and the, the writing. Right, okay, if I had to try and put the, do the outlines to show you guys, I think I'd be here a while. I really do, because this is some technical writing. And the schemes as well, the colour schemes are just blowing me away. What's really cool about this piece as well is that Flex or Felix Braun uh, contributed to this as well. The author of Bristol Graffiti and Street Art, Children of the Can. Like the Bible. So if you enjoy these videos, and I couldn't recommend a, a book more for text, for images, for culture, you've got to get on this as well. But guys, thank you for watching as well. We've got part three coming up pretty soon. Um, I'm going to drop a little crumb, so make sure you watch. Miller's done a fantastic house, and I think I'm just going to have to saw off the whole house and steal it, because it is beautiful, and that's coming soon. So thanks, guys. Subscribe if you liked, and like the video too. Thanks for watching. Just quickly, this new microphone is amazing, and soon come a better camera.